I haven't even had time to open the shrink wrap on this thing yet. And and you guys, uh, who are also based here in California, uh, where the iPhone went on sale just two hours ago, posted your teardown more than 14 hours ago. That's Did the whole teardown and posted right. it more than 14 hours ago. How'd you do that? So we do it the hard way. Uh, we go where there's a 17-hour time advantage, and that is Melbourne, Australia. So we have a uh, some friends that run a repair shop in Melbourne, and they host us. Uh, and so we uh, every time the Apple releases one of these new iPhones, we fly out there. So I haven't actually taken the phone apart myself. Andrew and Sam, our teardown engineers, flew out there and uh, got their hands on it, did the disassembly, took the photos, and then we did the analysis from the photos. Awesome. Now, we already knew the phone would have an A9 processor. Uh, with an embedded M9 motion coprocessor. Co we knew the uh, the ramage, uh, which now ranges from 16 to 128 gigs. We know about the camera, Sorry. the 7000 series aluminum. Um, we knew a lot of things, but um, there are things we didn't quite know before. Let's talk about we, what we learned from you guys' uh, 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 teardown. For starters, it looks like this phone is bigger and heavier, and the battery's a lot smaller. Uh, is this correct and and do we know why it's bigger and heavier yeah so it's it's slightly thicker uh but more more uh visible than that i guess is the weight so it's about 15 well the display just the display is 15 grams heavier uh so you've got the 7000 uh series aluminum is a little bit stronger it's a little bit beefier but most of the added weight comes from a thicker display uh and that's that's the additional material they had to add for the 3d touch or force touch yeah so um the so-called Taptic Engine uh, is one of the features that Apple emphasizes for the iPhone line and also for their smartwatches. Right. Uh, is this different in this phone than the previous uh, iPhones? And also, we have a you guys posted a great video. Um, yeah, so we, we had to get engine. an x-ray machine in Australia that we could use to take video of the Taptic Engine running. And Would it's you go to the doctor's office or something? No, this is a very specialized uh, x-ray machine, and it this thing shoots 30 frames per second video. It's phenomenal. And even with that thing, you know, trying to get the Staptic Engine video of this thing moving, you have to be able to see inside it as it's moving and then and then shoot high uh, frame rate video. Uh, and it is fast. You see there, I mean, even our, our frame rate was barely able to catch the movement. Uh, so this is a linear actuator, and there's springs on either side. There's electromagnets inside. It shakes back and forth, and that shaking is what gives you the, the feedback. Uh, and Apple claims, uh, and we were able to verify from the video, that that it gets up to full speed within a single oscillation. So sometimes, like with a with a, a traditional vibrator motor, it takes a little while to get up to speed. This gets up to speed very quickly, which was important to them because they wanted immediate feedback when you touch on the screen. 